three big reasons why you should be very careful about dating a single mother. Now it is back to school time here. You know, you'll start to see that kids are going back to school, all of that. Um, and with that, I just saw a post from a guy who just got married and he married a, at the time, a single mother who had a kid who is five and eight years old, both from different fathers. They have diff different fathers, right? He just married her. And this is going, this video is going to be a warning for at least three big things to watch out for when you're dating a single mother. And this one is tough for me to say. Um, now I'm speaking to you men about this, but is a general human being. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I was a public school teacher. I taught second grade for five years. I know that a kid with two parents in the household does better, especially having that masculine or that, that uh, male figure in the house. I know that that's a good thing as far as the family goes. But for you as a man, it is a huge risk on you to assume that responsibility. And uh, before we get into it, Skull Vikings, I'm a Vikings fan. Let me know your NFL team below because the Vikings, sorry guys, Sorry to everyone else. Vikings are winning their first Super Bowl this year, or theoretically in 2020, but you know what I'm saying, this season. All right, anyway, three reasons to avoid dating a single mother, or at least to be very aware of. And the first one is pretty obvious, and that is money. Kids <laughs> take up a lot of money. You are now... Not only, you know, we've talked about this before. It's like when you're single, you save a lot of money because having a girlfriend or having a wife can be very expensive for you. Now add on to that. Not only do you have the girl to take care of money-wise, you also have children now. So when you date a single mother, although at first you might even, you know, you might not even see her for a while. She doesn't want to introduce the kids to you yet. She doesn't trust you enough yet, right? So at first, you might not really think about this. You might slowly kind of um, fall into that almost lust or love, and then you start to realize there's a heck of a lot more responsibility financially when you're going out to dinner and now you're paying for three other people besides yourself. Uh, when they wanna go to a movie and now you're shelling out 10, 15 bucks per ticket per kid, it can add up quickly, all right? So money is a big, big one here. You're going to lose a lot of it when you introduce that into your life. Number two here, this one I would have a really hard time with. This is the, um, the lack of respect that you will get from the kids. At any point, at any point, when you're trying to lay down the law, you're trying to instill good um, fundamentals, you're trying to instill morals into these kids, at any point, all they have to say is, you're not my dad. You're not my father. I don't have to listen to you. This one could come late. This could come early. It doesn't matter, but it will come at some point in your life. The kid is not going to see everything you have sacrificed. They will not realize what burden you have taken on to make this kid's life better. Now, I don't penalize the kid for this at all, but I'm just being real with you. That will happen. You will not get that same respect because you're not the biological father. Uh, and one thing that guys can get suckered into is when you do meet these kids and they are really respectful to you or they really enjoy you and it feels great having uh, being able to provide for for children it, it feels really good like seriously is, is a school teacher that was my favorite thing was just hanging out with the kids they're fun they're um, 
super polite, super sweet when they like you. All right. When I was their teacher, I had um, the best kind of role because they always love their teacher. I mean, if you're a cool, fun teacher, they always love their teacher. So I got their best behavior basically always. Of course, you know, you'd have the, the troublemakers, but I know how to put them in their place. But when you come into um, a single mother and you're not the biological father and you're not the teacher, you will not get nearly the respect that you're going to want or that you're going to deserve from these children. And at any point, all you have to do is, you're not my dad. And branching off of this, the third big uh, pitfall you, you have to watch out for if you're dating a single mother is that you're going to come last. Branching off number two there, the you're not my dad thing. You would be surprised how many single mothers will take their kid's side almost every time. You try to put them in their place for something they did. You try to scold them. You try to give them a lecture. And the mother, hey, don't talk to my kid like that. That can happen too. So you are going to come last. And she will say this. Women will say this. They'll put this on their online dating profiles. They'll say, you know, single mother or mother of two, blah, blah, blah. I need a man that's ready for responsibility, blah, blah, blah. Just so you know, my kids always come first. Okay. Now, the bad thing about this is that it is also an automatic out, an easy out for any woman that wants to leave. Any woman that her hypergamy finds a better man and she wants to monkey branch away, at any moment, her easiest excuse is something about the kids. You know, hey, it was best for the kids. I had to look out for the kids. You have to deal with potentially the ex-boyfriend or ex-husband still being in her life. And if you guys, you know, have more of the, the red pill knowledge behind you, you'll know that some sometimes and a lot of times the fathers are the prototypical alpha men, those are the ones that you're going to have to watch out for. And she will always have an excuse to stay in contact with the father. You're going to come last in that sense too. Like, hey, this is about our kids. I need to meet up with them. I need to um, talk this out. We need to have this communication. Again, at any point, what's an easier excuse for her? If she gets back with her ex, it's a lot easier on her, isn't it? To be back with the father of her children or one of her children. So, is a quick little recap for three things to be wary of if you are dating a single mother or if you're considering it is the money piece that will be big time now if you have no worries well no you, you should it, it that's a big thing and if you get farther into it if you married her and now you um have and you guys divorce you can be on the hook now for uh child support for kids that were not your own but once you got married or you adopted them, whatever. That's another big thing with the money. So money is one big thing. The second one is the you're not my dad, that whole respect thing. No matter how well it's going now, there will be times when you're going to do the right thing and say no to these kids, or you're going to do the right thing and try to instill some type of values in these kids, and they're not gonna like it. And they're going to give you the whole, you're not my dad, you can't tell me what to do. And then the third one is that you will always come last. That's right. She will never put you and her relationship above her and her kids. Now, that is a good thing. We, we want women to be wonderful mothers. We want women to put their children first. But again, when I'm speaking to you men about this, if this is not your biological children, that is not a good thing then. That is not a... Uh, quality that is going to be good for you in this relationship. So those are my top three things. I know a lot of you guys that have been through this. See, I avoid, I, I will hang out with single mothers and all that stuff, but I avoid, I, I never, you know, I never meet the kids or any of that stuff. I know I, I have no, she, the single mother, she'll just come over to my house and that's it. So I have nothing against that as far as like hanging out with um, single moms, sometimes it works out great if you're not looking for anything serious because they have a hectic schedule and they just want a fun time away from their parenting duties sometimes. So I hang out with single mothers or whatever. But as far as dating one or getting married to one, there's some big risks. Um, guys below, let our brothers know some other 
risks, some other things you might not think of about dating a single mother, some stories that you might have had about dating a single mother. And again, this is not meant to bash any single moms out there. Uh, not at all. Again, I understand for children's sake, it's best to have two parents in the household. I understand that. But that is that, that is coming at the expense of the poor guy that is coming into this situation, um, you know, completely just blindsided by it. And like I said, when I mentioned earlier, the, the buddy that I just saw, uh, cause it was back to school post, um, two kids from two different fathers, neither of them are his, they just got married. So he now has two different baby mama drama or, or baby daddy drama coming his way. Um, all that stuff. Anyway, yeah, uh, let us know below some other things about dating single mothers. Again, money, you're not my dad, that respect thing, and you come last. And watch out, this year, Vikings, Super Bowl, 2020. That's right, you heard it here first. See you guys. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe. Peace.